Finally, we're here to present the SEMA Lifetime Achievement Award to Martin Sheen. The Catholics in Media Lifetime Achievement Award honors an individual who has used his God-given talent to make a difference. Martin Sheen has invariably selected films and projects which have meaning and importance. Off screen, he has used his celebrity for positive purposes. Anyone who has opened a newspaper in the past 25 years knows that Martin Sheen stands up for what he believes in. He has protested American policy in El Salvador. Salvador. He has tried to shut down nuclear armament facilities. He has stood up for the rights of day laborers and laid down on the sidewalk to sleep with the homeless. He has sailed with Greenpeace, campaigned against Proposition 187. He was a close ally of Cesar Chavez and marched for the United Farm Workers. A few weeks ago, he was on the picket line again, fighting for the rights of cafeteria workers. Martin Sheen is not a man who marches around with a sign for a few hours and then goes home. He has been arrested and booked for demonstrate. And now he's the president. for demonstrating against what he sees as an injustice. And regularly, you can find him at a downtown mission here in Los Angeles, helping feed the homeless. I'm an actor, and it seems to me that you can't be the kind of actor that Martin Sheen is without a deep and genuine understanding of humanity, without a love and concern for people. And that's what he brings to society, and that's what he brings to the screen. Which teach us how we must live. That's great. Yeah, well, no, I agree. Really listen, listen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us so love. Where there is injury, pardon. Oh, I love you, darling. Diplomacy in and of itself will not remove the missile. Do you believe in God? I believe in a God. God can't save us, can't save you. I was going to the worst place in the world, and I didn't even know it yet. Those bastards are trying to kill me! Look, you're sorry, it's suppose. I mean, just suppose everyone thought the same way you do. Then I'd be a damn fool to think any different. And I have never yet left the enemy in command of the field. No, sir. Retreat is no longer an option.
that is an impressive body of work, I can tell you. It's, it's overwhelming. Carol O'Connor, SEMA's 1996 winner, was looking forward to presenting this year's award to Martin. Unfortunately, he called from New York Friday to say that his wife was sick, so he isn't able to be here this morning. But he sends his congratulations to Martin, and he says he'll see you around the parish, Our Lady of Malibu. Of course, we all wish his wife, Nancy, a speedy recovery. Uh, get that, will you? Uh, <laughs> this does give me an unexpected honor, a chance to ask the Cardinal to present the award to a man I have always admired as an actor and a human being. I know that Catholics and media and a lot of other groups have wanted to recognize Martin Sheen for a long time, but he's always been very reluctant. His friend, Father Ken, convinced him to be here this morning, not because it would be good for him, but because it would be good for us. It is a real honor for me to ask Cardinal Mahoney to, to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Martin Sheen. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. Uh, talk about going higher, brother. Boy, getting an award for being Catholic. <laughs> Last year I got one for being Hispanic. Maybe next year I'll get one for acting. <laughs> you never know in this business. I had uh, spoken to... Uh, Father Ken, you know, I go down to St. Agatha's occasionally, and he's usually at the 10 o'clock Mass uh, every Sunday morning, so, um, and I'm very fond of that uh, wonderful community and his great spirit. He's one of my heroes, and when he asked me to accept this, I thought, oh, dear, you know, uh, Lord, let this cup pass from me, and I, I laid low for a while. It didn't come around, and I think he called Bud Kaiser, and they started talking a little bit, and you know the rest, uh, and uh, so uh, when he... Uh, he saw me here this morning. He said, uh, if you like, I'll come down and give a blessing to the Western White House, you know, your Oval Office. And I thought, uh, well, that'd be a good idea, but I think an exorcism is more appropriate. <laughs> so I'll be seeing you on the set real soon. I also learned uh, a long time ago that uh, the only thing that we can take with us when we leave this wonderful, mysterious thing called life are the things which we cherished and gave away with love. And so. I do cherish this so very much, and I'm going to ask Ken D.C. not to come up here. I'll come down there because I know he, he's as uncomfortable as I am doing these things. But if he would be a caretaker for, uh, for this uh, award uh, with his wonderful community at St. Uh, Agatha's, I'd be very grateful. If you'll do that for me, Ken. Thank you. And uh, you're going to... Uh, you're going to have to surrender it if you get assigned to a Beverly Hills parish. Uh, and I have the Cardinal's word on that. God, you know, after a while, he got installed down there, and Helena and all of us went down for this wonderful installation, and uh, he's pastor for life, man. I'm sorry, but he's having the time of his life, too. And, and one day I said, you know, uh, after a couple of years, I said, uh, Ken, you know, we really miss you over at St. Monica's. And he said, this is the real world. <laughs> <laughs> That's heroism. This room is filled with heroes and friends, and not the least of which is Bud Kaiser. You know, Bud worked with me when, when I was a non-Catholic, and he never threw it up in my face. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, you know, was raised Catholic. I, my faith was a gift from my parents, both of whom were immigrants. My father was Spanish, my mother Irish. What else am I going to be but, but Catholic? And, uh, it's fine with me. I love being a Catholic. But I, I didn't own it in that sense that I accepted it until many years later. I, and I have a lot of regret because, you know, I didn't have that faith to hand on to my children. And it, it became critical at one point that they, they have something to hang on to. And so I deeply regret that. But uh, um, when I came back, I remember a conversation I had with Bud. You know, he said, well, the, you're on the honeymoon now. He said, just don't try to convert your family. He said, that'll be the worst thing you can do is turn those guys off. And he was right about that. But I've, um, I've been very lucky, uh, very, very lucky to have such a wonderful family and a wife of 38 years. Although she's non-Catholic, she's far more spiritual than 
most of us who call ourselves Catholic, and a heroic person to have stayed with me all these years. Uh, this morning, uh, she's very sorry she couldn't come here this day. Um, but we were at a benefit last night and we're up all hours, and so I'm still feeling a little bit of that. And uh, so she said, uh, uh, you're going uh, without me? And I said, yes, I will. She said, well, don't eat everything and don't make a long speech. <laughs> I said I wouldn't. But I did want to recognize some of my heroes who were in this room, not just Ken and, and uh, Bud Kaiser, but also my pastor, Father Bill, that already of uh, Malibu. I don't know whether he's still here with us. Uh, but he's become a dear friend, and he's also my confessor. So um, I'm just very, very pleased for his friendship and, and grateful to him for, for his support. Um, also, there's a guy here this day who's one of my heroes, and I've, I've been quiet about it. I've, sometimes I'm very critical of him and some of the stands he takes, but in my heart of hearts, he lives there as one of my, my favorite people. And I've never really told him this, but you know, when Proposition 187 was recently thrown out of the courts as being uh, unconstitutional, this guy condemned it as being immoral and inhuman even before it got on the ballot. And that is our Cardinal Roger Mahoney. I, uh, I, I sometimes think when I was watching the, some of those uh, shows and um, thinking what acting is sometimes, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I think it's, 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 it's private pain gone public for, pro for profit, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> I'm looking at some of that stuff. I said, I actually did that in public? Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> but it's about being being vulnerable. It's about being human, and I think that's where God meets us. You know, I, the older I get, the, the less I really know, and the more I believe. And I sincerely believe that God meets us in our brokenness, in our darkness, in our fear, in our basic common humanity. I think that's where we are saved and where we save each other. And so, I'll, I'll just end by giving you my favorite prayer, or hope or wish or whatever you want to call it. It was given to me by Raman Donath Tagore, the famous poet of India, the man who wrote the Indian National Anthem and the man who called Gandhi Mahatma. And he wishes us where the heart is without fear. And the head is held high where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls. Words come out from the depths of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sands of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my Father. Let my country awake. Thanks so much. All the best. Ken, you finally got your SEMA. <laughs> thank you very much. We certainly want to thank our terrific Master of Ceremonies, Marco Bataluco. <laughs> it, it was wonderful having him this morning, but I want to remind you we can all enjoy him tonight. He has a lead role on the practice, 10 o'clock ABC. <laughs> Cardinal, thank you for your graciousness. In case you're interested in any of the events of SEMA, there are little things on the table about that list some of our activities. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. This has been a fantastic experience. Please come back next year. God bless you.